What's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from Monarchy Sentiments, and this is my 2021 Kia Sorento all-wheel drive SXT turbo GDI motor. And this is about a uh, new brake pad and rotor break-in process. So this car has 6,000, ready? 6,583 miles on it, and I beat the crap out of this car. Uh, 95 in Philadelphia, 120, 130, smooth, no problems. Uh, ripping through traffic, car handles great, and the brakes work great. You can see that the fronts, all right, you're not going to see what I'm going to show you in the back. It's the front wheel. And I surprised myself when I looked at this as well. All right, so you're going to look at the rotors, and you can actually see some crosshairs, all right, that fan across. See it? There, there, there. All right, so that's a non-directional finish from the manufacturer that they put on the new rotors, just like the new rotors that you buy in most cases from the park stores, uh, have a non-directional finish on it so that the brake pads and rotors can seat in properly. I'm shocked, as, as hard as I drive this car, it has 6,000 miles and there's still some hash marks in the rotors from that original machining process. In my days of starting in this industry was 1991 uh, and vehicles at that time we were lucky to see about 10,000 miles out of a set of brake pads um, but the rotors were a lot thicker and beefier and you can machine them now forget it uh, we see cars go 50 60 80,000 miles uh, that don't need brake pads uh, or rotors or they do because the rotors are so rusted out and it pulsates ungodly so the moral to the story is how long does it take for brake pads and rotors to seat in well, I beat the crap out of this car and it's 6,000 miles and the back one still haven't completely seated in properly. Uh, so I guess every vehicle is going to be a little different. My rule of thumb was 500 to 1,000 easy driving. Whew. Uh, I don't know. I'm shocked about this. Thanks for watching.